Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Christopher Flores Media. Today we're going to talk about all things audio specifically, how to get or what are the best ways to get audio into your camera. We're going to look at different sources of audio on different sides of the budget spectrum. And today we're featuring this lapel mic sent out to us by Ancestor, all right? Let's get into it. As always, welcome back to the channel. I'm really, really happy that you're here. If you're new here, uh, what we do on the channel is some gear reviews. We do some tutorials as well. If that's your kind of thing, all based around filmmaking, right? And today we're talking about audio. So we're even going to move into that, kind of helping us get better with audio and video. If you're into all that, please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Let me know that this is the kind of stuff that you want me to make and I'll continue to make it. Please share this channel. Tell your mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, best friend, your pastor, your neighbor, anybody. Let's grow together in our knowledge and our, our love for filmmaking and uh, let's get better together. All right. So please subscribe and thank you for being here. All right. But anyways, back to the video. So like I was saying, we're going to look at different things along the budget spectrum on audio. Uh, I personally used to a long time ago, I used to record audio separate through an interface into Reaper and yeah, that gives you some really amazing results. But my issue was that I was having some sync issues again, granted at the time I was using my iPhone as my camera and I was recording the audio separately. But uh, now that I've got, uh, I got the ZV-1 first and then I got, now I got the A6400, I just find it so much more easier, so much more practical, especially for YouTube, kind of stuff like this, to just record good quality audio into the camera and then I could go ahead and edit it or fix it or finesse it a little bit in Final Cut if I need to, or I could do it in Reaper, but we'll save that for another day, okay? So let's look at the budget side. Uh, obviously, the first uh, level or the first way to get some good quality audio into your camera, uh, you gotta use what you got, right? So most of these cameras, today I'm talking about two Sony cameras, the ZV-1 and the A6400, they've got built-in microphones. Uh, some say that the ZV-1 microphone is better than the 6400, some say the 6400 is better. I'm neutral. Sometimes I think the 6400 sounds a lot better. Other times I think the ZV-1 sounds a lot better. Uh, I will say that the 6400 sounds a little bit fuller to me, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, you are more than welcome to your opinion, okay? But let me go ahead and pull out the ZV-1 so we can hear what the on-camera audio sounds like, and then we'll move on down the spectrum going into the lower to the higher tier of our budget spectrum, right? So let's pull out our handy-dandy little sidekick, the Sony ZV-1. Hola, hello. We got our ZV-1. It's like I'm vlogging and filming at the same time, all right? So hopefully you got two good ideas of what the audio can sound like. Right now I'm talking straight into the ZV-1. This is the built-in cameras. And right here on my A6400, I've got the Rode NTG-2, which is a shotgun professional mic. This one is not, it's just built-in audio, right? So hopefully between the two, you can get a pretty good idea of what it's gonna sound like, okay? So talking into the ZV-1, hey, hey, one, two, go subscribe. Talking into the A6400, hey, hey, thank you for subscribing, all right? Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the audio sounds like. Let's move on to our first in the budget spectrum, all right? So still using the audio on the Sony ZV-1, let's check out what all you get with the Ancestor lapel microphone, all right? Let's pull it out. So obviously, you get the box. You get this pouch, really nice carrying pouch. I don't know if you'll ever use it, but probably with this microphone, since it's so long, you probably will use it. So it's cool, it comes with a pouch. Comes with a quarter inch mount or adapter mount. It's an adapter. Uh, you get a mic clip. Probably you can see that. Mic clip. You get a little battery. You're gonna need the battery. And finally, you get the mic. So, as you can tell, that mic cable is gonna be really, really long. Really, really awesome for all kinds of work. So really good, I'm glad it's a long cable. The mic, it says on the box and on the Amazon description that it works with the cell phone and into your camera and into a, like a mixer. That's why they give you the adapter. Uh, so really cool, it comes with a windscreen. So now let me plug it into the ZV-1 so we can tell the difference between ZV-1 audio 
and uh, this lapel mic audio, okay? Something else I wanna show you before I plug it into the ZV-1, it's got this little, I'm gonna call it a, can a canister. It comes with a clip so that you could clip it into your pocket and you still got plenty of cable to use. And you've got your on and off switch between cell phone and camera, all right? So let's plug it into the ZV-1. We're gonna compare it against the uh, A6400 with the NTG2 right now. So I've got the microphone plugged in to the camera. Let's listen to the mic and I'll go back and forth so you guys can hear, okay? So this is the ZV-1 with the mic plugged in. I've got the audio level set to seven. When it was just a straight up microphone built into the camera, I had it at 21. So significant drop, but hopefully the quality sounds good. So this is the Ancestro lapel microphone. Hey, hey, one, two, check, check, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two, check, check, one, two. Comparing it into the A6100. Hey, hey, one, two, check, check, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two, check, check, one, two. Ancestral lapel. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. 6400. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Lapel mic. Ancestral lapel mic. This mic is about $19.99. And if you get it in the description, uh, you might still be in time to use the $5 off coupon. So you get a lapel mic, honey long cable for 15 bucks. All right. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Comparing it to the Rode NTG2, which I bought for around $260 or something like that. Hey, hey, one, two. So 15 bucks versus $269. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Can you hear the difference? Which one do you like more? Leave it in the comments. All right, let's move on to our next mic. Okay, so now we're gonna check out the Boya BYMM1. It's a little shotgun mic. I've got the dead cat on there. Let's take it off so you guys can see what it looks like. It looks just like the Rode Micro or Video Micro, whatever it's called. But for me, it's more awesome because it's like half the price. Jeez, this thing's so hard to take off. Give me one second, this dead cat does not, I think it came back to life. Ugh, there we go. So as you can see, very similar to the uh, Rode Wireless or Rode Video Micro. Uh, I like it, it comes with its own little pouch as well. It comes with a, a cable to plug into your camera and it comes with its own uh, cable to plug it into your cell phone and with it its own mount, all for right around $30. Check the link in the description. I like the can. I like the mic. Uh, to me, when I first got it, it was absolutely like I went from here with the in-camera audio like to the next level. I love this microphone, really, really good. Uh, so I highly recommend this microphone. But let's compare it, okay? So back to the ZV-1. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Talking into the Boya. My audio level set to nine. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Comparing it to the A6400 with the NTG2. Hey, hey, one, two. ZV-1, hey, hey, one, two, with the Boya. Hey, hey, one, two, A6400 with the Rode. Which one sounds better? Let me know. How does this compare to the lapel mic? Let me know. Let me know, all right? Let's move on to the next one. Now we're gonna talk about the Rode Wireless Go, the second to most expensive microphone in my collection, all right? Let's compare that. So this one is about $200 right now, since for whatever reason, they're very hard to find. They are more expensive. So if you find one for $200, you better jump on it. You better get it because they will get more expensive just because I don't know if Rode is just trying to play some kind of game or something, but they're kind of hard to get now. But uh, to me, if I had to pick my number one, which one's my favorite mic out of my collection? I would have to say it's the Rode. Why? Because it's wireless, because it's very versatile. I can vlog and I don't have to worry about the mic going back and forth or anything like that. I set my level on the camera and forget it. Right now on my ZV-1, the mic is set to four and on the wireless unit, the DB meter is right in the middle, okay? So let's compare the audio here. Rode Wireless Go ZV-1. Hey, hey, one, two, check, check, one, two. Hey, hey, check, check, one, two, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two, check, check. Uh, Rode up there on the 6400, the big brother on the NTG2. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Which one do you like more? ZV-1. Hey, hey, one, two. Check, check. Please subscribe. Or Rode NTG2. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. All right.
So hopefully this video gave you an idea uh, on what to get, what you think might work, what your fits in your budget, and uh, obviously there are other microphones out there. These are just the four that I've gotten to try extensively, and I can vouch for all of them. Uh, I'm gonna listen to the lapel mic, and then I might give you my final decision on the lapel mic. I might give you which one is my favorite out of all of them uh, once I get done with editing the footage so I can listen to it. But for right now, I would have to say my number one recommendation would be the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, on that higher end budget, uh, I would recommend it even over my NTG2. Uh, my NTG2 sounds good, it sounds great, I love it. It's the audio that you always hear in all my videos. But with the Rode Wireless, you get so much more flexibility, so much versatility. Sometimes I even use the Rode Wireless Go to connect the NTG2. Like I might put the, the shotgun mic on a boom stand and then I have the Rode Wireless receiver right here just kind of dangling, sending it to my camera. So. I cannot do that kind of versatility with any other setup. Also, my favorite thing to do with the Rode Wireless is to send a signal directly from the board, from the mixer to the camera wirelessly. As long as you got a clear line of sight, you can get 50, 75 feet out and you got good quality audio coming out of a mixer going straight to your camera wirelessly. You don't have to worry about long ex extension cables, okay? So for right now, my best recommended mic on that higher end for YouTube, uh, I would have to say it's the Rode Wireless. If you can find it, get it. Uh, on the budget side, I have to hear in the editing if it's gonna be the Boya or if it's gonna be the Ancestral lapel mic, okay? I know the mics are kind of different, but the price range is similar enough to where I could compare them both, right? But with all of these mics, rest assured, you're gonna get way better audio than the camera audio, okay? So uh, one of the first things, one of the first investments you should make when you're getting into YouTube or any kind of videography for that matter, first, spend money on your lighting and on your audio. Don't think you need to go get the newest camera, the newest, most expensive lens. You need to get lighting and audio. I'm filming this on the kit lens that comes with my A6400. I've done YouTube videos on my ZV-1 as well, which I mean, it's kind of pricey for a compact camera, but when you consider the lens and the, uh, the size of the sensor, you'd get what I'm saying, right? But you don't need the most expensive stuff. As long as it works for you, it fits within your budget, yeah, make it work, make it work, okay? Invest in your lighting, invest in your audio, and uh, at the end of this edit, or at the end of this video, I'll let you know which one's my favorite budget, if it's gonna be the lapel or the boya. I'm really excited, I'm kinda nervous. I don't know which one, which one do you think? Please tell me, I'm like, I can't wait to go listen to the footage and tell you, okay? But, let's come back in a second once I've gotten a chance to listen to the audio, and then we'll finish the video, right? Give me a second. So, I've edited the video, I've edited the audio, I've listened to the samples. Guys, I had a freak out moment. I could not believe why the little $15 mic sounded so good compared to my NTG, compared to the road. I couldn't believe it. I went, I had to edit all my audio, I did sample footage again, testing my audio. And I learned something that I had way too much volume on my uh, NTG2. So hopefully from here on out, you'll get some better audio for the videos. Right now I'm recording on the inbuilt mics on the A6400. But anyways, my favorite mic is still gonna be my NTG2. Not because it's the most expensive, but to me I've had a lot of good recordings, a lot of good experience with that mic, so it's my favorite. But with that being said, I don't think you need to go and spend $270 on a mic. You can get the Boya for like about $30 to $40. Heck, you could even get the Ancestor lapel mic. You're gonna get some really good audio. If you're looking for a budget, entry level, uh, it's your first time you're new to YouTube, get the lapel mic. If you're looking for a lapel mic but you don't wanna spend so much because you wanna experiment, uh, the Ancestor is a very good mic. I highly recommend it, right? Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace.